different from other schools I've been to. Like the learning process here is like way, it's like you get comfortable with it, like a type of way of learning. I don't know if it's just me, but I just like it. Well, I think that Mount Sinai Engineering Academy is a well, great school for young children to develop and to become greatness, starting from kindergarten all, to, all the way to 10th grade. Well, the way I feel about Mount Sinai Engineering Academy is it's a place for you to come learn and get a good education. Well, I really like it. I really like learning about God. Oh, well, I like how my friends help me and I help my friends and I help learning. I, I mean, I like learning about others, how to help God. And my favorite subject is, my favorite subject is Bible. Well, the mission means to me is um, that I should keep striving to be a lover of God. Well, the mission of Mount Sinai Junior Academy, what it means to me is that we are able to have a closer relationship with God and we're able to have that relationship with Him by studying, learning, and being with Him, being able to pray, and not only doing that in the classroom, but doing it outside spiritually and showing love to one another. It tells you, like, what our teachers do to help us get a greater education. It's like, what our mission to do is, it helps us provide a great education and it helps us spiritually, intellectually, and physically. For me, it means that like I can teach other people myself that like they can do other things and that the teachers actually do care about the students and not just do it like without their heart in it. I believe that Dr. Nguyen inspires me to do very well because ever since I came in sixth grade, she has pushed me to do better things and better things and great things with my life. She has shown me the ways I can become a better African American male, young man, and to become something great in life. And I want to just commend her for that. Thank you, Ms. Dr. Nguyen. That's a hard question because the thing is, like, all the staff members inspire me to do my best. They're always caring. Miss Diane. Same, Pastor Diane Calvin. She teaches us great life lessons from the Bible and great stories and teaches us the Bible. Bible. And to go on the right path and not be tempted by the devil. Yes. And, well, my principal, Ms. Nugent. Well, how she acts. She's funny. She makes me laugh, and she she teaches me to eat sometimes. Well, by telling them that, showing them what to do exactly. So if they're doing something wrong, I tell them that they need to change it and do something right. And that if they need to, if they need help with anything, I'm always trying to be there so that I can help them. I try. But sometimes they don't listen. Well, yes, because if I see anyone slacking off, I'm able to tell them in the younger grades to do better. And always leadership is the best way. And I believe that I am able to, keep, I'm capable of doing that. Well, I tell them to try to do your best. Keep striving. Then you're going to be doing something great. Yes, we help them by showing good examples around the school and we try to act like role models and we try to act our age so the little kids can grow up and behave and act mature. Well, before I came to Mount Sinai, my relationship with God wasn't that close, but ever since I've came here, I've been building and taking steps in a different way. And being a part of the robotics has been helping me in the engineering program. Something I've been putting through my mind, process, processing what I really want to do with my future. Mm. Well, I've noticed that I know more about God than I used to when I was smaller. 
I have learned a lot more. Like, my grades have changed a lot, and I'm now a honor student. The way Mount Sinai changed me <laughs> is I pay attention a little bit more in class, and I try to do my work actually at Mount Sinai. Well, ever since I've been taking the Bible classes here, it's like I've been more involved with God more than I've ever been before. And I've discovered my true gift here. If because if it wasn't for here, like Mount Sinai period, I wouldn't know like what I'm good at or what I need to do or anything. So I'm just grateful I'm here.